that forecast. Yeah, and you know, Chris, we're just kind of dealing with these uh, gray skies still over top of North Alabama. The pattern we've been stuck in just about all week. Occasionally seen some blue skies breaking through right now in Huntsville. Temperatures in the upper 70s. It's already 80 in Muscle Shoals where we've already seen some rain move through in the last 30 to 45 minutes. But you'll notice that most of North Alabama is dry here at 1118 on this Friday morning. And on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, most of the rain that we're being picked up is by our Muscle Shoals radar. And if we put this into animation, this is searching pretty north pretty quickly to the north at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So a lot of that moderate rainfall that we're seeing right now closer to Murphy Crossroads. That's going to be crossing over the state line into Tennessee here in about the next 10 to 15 minutes, but still some heavier rain right over top of Highway 20 right now in Lauderdale County. Through the rest of this upcoming afternoon into this evening, rain chances peak right around 3, 4 o'clock. There is that threat for lightning and heavy rain for the kids heading home from school as we wrap up the school week and the work week. But right around 635, that first pitch out at Toyota Field for the Trash Pandas. And also, of course, for Friday night football, we're going to see those rain chances and thankfully the lightning chances quickly dropping off all the way through the end of the baseball game and through the second half of some of those football games. But we're still tracking that threat for heavy rain all the way through this weekend and even into Monday and Tuesday. So still a little concerned about some localized flooding all the way through the next four to five days. Mostly just plain old thunderstorms. We're not expecting any stronger severe storms, but any storm can still produce some gusty winds and of course dangerous lightning. Outdoor plans, it's going to be a little tricky tomorrow. If you need to get some things done outside, do it in the morning because once again, those rain chances really picking up through the afternoon hours and into the early evening. On future radar and satellite, this is 1 o'clock here this afternoon, starting to show activity picking up throughout North Alabama. By 4 o'clock, that's the peak. And by far, where we're seeing most of the coverage of showers and storms, closer to and west of I-65, though all of North Alabama has that chance for showers and storms. And then right around 7 o'clock, again, right around the start of some of those football games this evening, we're starting to see the coverage winding down and you'll notice by eight and nine o'clock. Most areas are dry, still some lingering showers, but that lightning threat that would delay those football games that's coming to an end. Eight o'clock tomorrow morning already starting to see some heavier rain setting up. So again, a wet start to the weekend and look at this. This would be a big concern for your Saturday afternoon because these would be slow movers producing some very heavy rainfall. So that brings that threat of localized flooding, ponding on the roadways and just difficult to see if you're driving through this. This is around three o'clock here for your Saturday afternoon and then slowly but surely dropping to the south into your Saturday evening, but still lingering rain all the way into your Saturday evening and late Saturday night. This is the rainfall forecast and this goes through Sunday night. You'll notice anywhere from about an inch to an inch and a half of rainfall. Isolated spots closer to two inches. It's a lot of rainfall over the next three days and we'll continue to add on to these totals Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday morning. Seeing a lot of red showing up on the map indicating totals closer to about two and a half to three inches. And this is a look at Sunday. Look at all that heavy rain right overhead on Sunday afternoon. A little bit less coverage on your Monday, but still some heavier rain potentials all the way through your Monday evening. Then by Tuesday into Wednesday, that's where we're getting close to the end. That's that final cold front coming through. Big pattern change. Not only will that dry us out, that's going to bring a big taste of the fall. You'll notice temperatures back down into the upper 70s for your Wednesday afternoon. And then look at Thursday of next week, that first full day of fall. Lows in the mid to upper 50s and temperatures in the low 70s with hardly a cloud in the sky. But until next Thursday, a lot more rain to go. Just be weather aware. Again, every day has that lightning and heavy rain threat. A lot